What is up, everyone? Welcome to week 21 of Roleplay. My name is JP McDaniel, also known as Bannon. We've got the rest of the crew here, Abigail, a.k.a. Jen, Jeff, a.k.a. Vincent, Ryan, a.k.a. Bregger, and our DM, a.k.a. Neil, which I don't, his name is Neil. We don't call him the DM. Neil. <laughs> Quavo. Quavo, exactly. Koi where where Koi is Koibo from, by the way? What What is that? Koibu. Koibu. It's a long story that's not interesting or compelling in any way and yeah. whenever i tell the story people will get very disappointed i got it. bored with just that explanation to be honest with you perfect mm -hmm. you know what exactly is it a ghost fish <laughs> <laughs> from mario or, is it a good being the uh like japanese fish and the boo I... is the ghost part ghost no. fish man ryan i can't believe you actually made that sure. connection ghost fish can't believe you made that you know connection. what we'll, we'll say ghost fish from now on out that's the new thing <sighs> it's a good story a good story. All right, uh, Neil, did anyone level up since the last playthrough? So, um, Dungeons and Dragons, guys. What? Yeah. It was <laughs> no, I but you up. are very close, Bannon. Let me look at this sheet again. Don't I? Don't even. Bannon just say is no. one thousand four hundred and twenty-four oh experience away. All right, guys, I'm killing every deer, squirrel, <laughs> ferret, mouse, hey! anything we see. Do we get XP for that shit? Like, if I kill a deer? No, uh, it has to be a threat to you. What if or it looks at me menacing? To you. What if it looks like menacing? An angry to deer me? that's trying to kill you? Yeah, yeah, that, that'll work. But just like, you know, hunting a deer that has no. Do you decide if the deer is angry or do I? Mm -hmm. I decide whether the deer is what? a threat to you or what not. Damn it. If we, we walk into a bar and just shove game. everyone and start fights and, get, and then kill them, do we get experience for that? Yeah. All right, guys. Today we truly become the evil party. <laughs> <laughs> We're slaying the town that we've saved two weeks in a row. Uh, any housekeeping notes, Neil? Or are we just good to go? Um, let's just do a quick recap from two days ago, three days ago. Uh, you guys had just f slain the last remaining giants and ogres on the ship, freed the captives, crash landed the ship on the coast next to the uh, Justar's Bay. And reaping in your rewards and all the adoration of your lovely, lovely fans, um, you sat down in a bar and a young, mysterious elf woman showed up and told you a story about how she was transformed into shape. She's not too happy about it, and she wants you guys to go raid the king's catacombs with her for a ring of three wishes, one of which has already been used, apparently. And she wants to use one for herself to transform herself back. And the last one is for you guys, in addition to whatever other treasure you find down there. Understood. And that's where we left off. Uh, all right. Did we go to sleep? Or are we still at the bar? Where, where do you want to start us at, Neil? Uh, no, you're still at the bar talking to her. Okay. Right where we left off. You guys just finished the conversation with her or okay. paused partway through. I have some questions for you, if it fares you well. She nods. Who turned you into an elf, and why? It's a long time ago, and he has been dealt with. Um, as a silver dragon, are we to assume then that the one that turned you into an elf is uh, was an evil adversary, someone that was a plight on the land, or was this just a... Uh, how does that work? A dark wizard. Dark human wizard. Okay. And his name was Ferris. Ferris Bueller? No, I'm you... not familiar with this person. Ah, he's from a distant land. Um, is he too a dark wizard capable of astounding feats? He is capable of astounding feats. Incredible feats. Some may call him a wizard. Some may call him a wizard. Um, I would ask you a couple more questions, too. So this quest to retrieve the, uh, the ring... Uh, yes. Do you know of what kind of plights we may find ourselves amidst? Is this a guarded place? Is it uh, cursed? That kind of thing. Are we expecting acid, fire? <laughs> the king's catacombs were built uh, in the last age, near the end of the Age of Dreams. Um, they, to house the, the great kings and emperors of the time. We are looking for the tomb of Emperor Reich Kelborn. He is the one who is said to have the ring. However, there are many other kings buried in the tombs. Uh, 
the tombs are still are uh, to this day guarded by living soldiers from a nearby kingdom. Uh, however, they only guard the outside. If we can make our way past them, we should be able to get within the tomb itself, which is off limits to most people. Okay. I have a so question. we would be breaking some laws then by getting past these guards and raiding the tombs. She kind of bows her head and says, yes, that is unfortunately true. Okay. I chime in and say we can go in unnoticed. Don't worry about that, Jeff. I don't know if we can leave unnoticed. Who's this <laughs> Jeff you're talking about? It's Jeff. Or oh, I'm sorry, Vincent. <laughs> sorry, sometimes I slip. <clears throat> Oftentimes he confuses me for this legendary figure from the future that we've heard about <laughs> that is powerful beyond all means. But again, it, I am just, I'm Vincent. Indeed. Just a shadow of what Only Jeff a prince. Be. <laughs> Only a prince, not a god. <laughs> so considering this ring... Um, are there any limitations on the wishes? You know as much as I do. It's a ring of wishes. Whatever that means. These are all great okay. questions. I want to know, can you help us at all in this? Are you going to be able to fight alongside? I am not a skilled warrior. Otherwise, I would have done this myself long ago. But I can provide what little assistance I can. Having this, the, I guess, being a dragon once upon a time, and I kind of say that quiet, more quiet than I'd said everything else. Um, if we cut your head off right now, are you dead for good? She kind of leans back a little that? bit and says, yes, You'll I have am to mortal. forgive me. Bannon okay. is, he's... Uh, Just making sure that in case we do have to defend you, to know how much. Yes, I am currently... Well, I am currently an elf with all the strengths and weaknesses, mostly weaknesses. Understood. Okay. Mm, weaknesses, though? When uh, compared to really. the might of a dragon? Her eyes mm. shift over to the decrepit, super thin, <laughs> anorexic elf that is wheezing in the corner at the table. <laughs> I'll have you know I've slain a dragon. With the arthritic hands and the <laughs> blind before. So you told me earlier in this conversation... Yes. Yes. Um, do you mind if I confer with my friends then if, as to whether or not we should proceed? Uh, it'll just be a moment. Please. Um, okay, thanks. I, I shall go get a drink, and she stands up and walks over to the bar. Well, uh, I know the elves are good the second she said there's treasure. Bannon, are you in on this? Whatever you guys want to do. I would like to stay in town for at least a day or two and research sure. the library. I, I think I... that we also have something to do with that boat. Maybe we could... Daggers. Yeah. We got the daggers, yeah. yeah. We, we have reasons daggers. for staying in town. Yeah. I think the right. only thing we will have to talk a lot about later on is the wish. I think it could save us a lot of trouble that we might have in the future. You are a very wizened elf, Abigail. That was the only mm -hmm. question I really had for us, is that I, I do believe we should have some idea of what we want from that ring, um, should things go according to plan, before we get the ring, because I don't want someone rushing up and... Uh, making a, a rash decision. So, what what are your I, thoughts on a wish? Um, I was thinking. I don't know how much of trouble is Dalamar, but that was my first thought. Just wish him gone. I I don't know. I mean, we could make him make him an elf too, like just an elf with no powers or something. You're offending. I don't know how. Huh? You're offending Bregor. An elven Dalamar is still I'm a very a... powerful Dalamar. Just to no, but I mean, here. he's already an elf. But I mean. Remove his powers or something like that. I think we can dream bigger. I would imagine we can dream a lot bigger than... Because Ring. stronger than that. Dalabar, an elf with no powers. Yeah. Who, who is this Dalamar again? Uh, Dalamar is a black wizard that has been foe and ally, but mostly... mostly oh, just the same Dalamar. Dalamar. Okay, I know. Sorry. Sorry, I misunderstood. Ignore me, I'm making a joke. <laughs> If not, yes. I, mean, I know of Dalimar. A lot of money would be good. Um, you know, Having I'm not back to say that. Uncle Oris, we could get him back, maybe. You want to wish back Uncle Oris too? I... Maybe we could own. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Who is... I think you're voting yourself off of Wish Island right who, now. Who is Who's... Uncle Oris? 
he is a charming, plump little fellow, a, a priest. Mm, a wasted uh, wish. Never mind. Right. Yeah, yeah that's, that's all you needed to know. Um, I mean, Abigail, what would you wish for? Things that we could not do otherwise, Abigail. You're, you're, you're saying a bunch of things that we could do. That's true. I agree with Vincent. Money can be obtained through many different actions. I agree about money. Dalamar could be handled, and Oris could be uh, can liberated. Can Dalamar be handled, though? A conversation for another time. Right now we're talking about <laughs> awesome wishes. Yeah. Um, Bregor, what are your thoughts? We've heard, we've heard from Abigail, and, and for right now we'll... we'll... Mm. Maybe uh, adamantium-infused skeleton? Add a... A what? Add Something a, like that. Adam's, an Adam's antium? Yes. Add who is this Adam? <laughs> What does he do with your skeleton? Uh, just, I think, some sort of uh, power for one of us. P power that we could not otherwise achieve through simply fighting foes. Shouldn't we just put the power on an object, though? If that's what you're looking for. Say what? Shouldn't we just put the power on an object? Because a person can be killed, but an object can be given. But an object can be lost or broken or... Or shared. You know, or, you know, roll three ones and you break it forever. So... What if we make it an unbreakable object? <laughs> uh, that's possible, too. But yeah, I, I vote for some, some kind of power. I think you're getting closer to what give. I believe would be good. What about... What the about a sword to... <laughs> that drains blood? <laughs> the what? I'm just kidding. I'm just talking about the old sword we used to have. Uh. <laughs> I was trying it, to it didn't back. actually drain blood. I was. Oh, uh, maybe this one could. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry. Right. Uh, the power to heal with touch would be interesting. Yeah. Uh, the power to set fire with touch would be pretty cool too. So then... the power to decapitate with touch. <clears throat> I'm just thinking of cool ways to slap people right now. Um, I think heal would actually. If be you cool. knocked their head off when you slapped them, that would be pretty cool. What about the ability to control dragons? <laughs> All of these things are saying can be obtained through other means. I think you, you can guys... control dragons otherwise. Really? <laughs> In due time, I believe it can be done. In all my reading on dragons, <laughs> Brad. Brad. <laughs> How do we train a dragon? Could you go get us some drinks, Abigail? <laughs> <laughs> I could, I could go get some apple juice right now. So, I mean, they say, while, while all these are admirable wishes, um, I once had a quest to restore my fr father to this world, and that was taken away from me when the boots were set on fire. So, although it's a small wish, it would complete my quest that I've been doing for these years of my life to have these boots restored. And I would assume that with those boots restored, we could probably obtain other things through I, the uh, events that occur afterwards. I don't think levitation is an awesome ability. I care not of the boots' abilities, rather what they can do when combined with the rest of my father's heirlooms. I think we'd need a little bit more enlightenment onto what all that is before we agreed to a wish like that. I think that is boring. <laughs> <laughs> Bannon, I mean, out of yeah, respect to you, I, I will tell you that uh, it definitely it will, because you've done us so well, we, I won't just outright say that that's not possible, but we'd have to find a clever way to do it that wouldn't just get you the boots, because sure. while I do respect your mission, I think, again, with a wish, we should aim really high for this. Pretty, pretty high. I agree. I'll tell you the, the stories of my father one day. Okay, let's uh, let's continue this conversation as we journey, but we're obviously far and away from it, and perhaps uh, perhaps it's a ruse as well. So we'll have some idea, but we don't need to decide it right this second. I shall tell. Uh, what is her name again? Ye Celia. S e l i a. Celia. Celia. Or, yeah, I will tell her that we will accept the the uh, mission. My question to you guys is: Do we leave immediately, or do we have? Other I mean, I know you want to stay a day in town. Um, I was interested in perhaps purchasing some new weapons from. The big city that's nearby, uh, I would like to be well armed. I mean, we don't have a healing ability. I think we should try to get a healing band or at least potions, which are prepared here today, so I could get those too. So um, the, the band that we used to have, did that allow for healing? We birthed the shit out of it. Or did it just uh, 
allow for heals to be more powerful. It allowed for heals to be more powerful. Right. Did it so... not give you the ability to heal? Is that true? Hmm. Mm. It made the think... uh, Tedagub spell super effective. Okay, I, I think I remember no? some inventories. Neil? I think I remember some inventories that included uh, healing charges, is the words they were throwing if around. If there's something that lets one of us who cannot heal innately heal, then that would be very powerful. I do believe it exists, and I think it was within our, our cost area. It wasn't too terribly expensive. I could be way wrong. My memory is absolute shit, but um, let's do this. Let's gather our things in this town. Let's at least go to that nearby metropolis. Apparently, it's a very large place. Let's shop there for a day, and then let's leave on this mission. Does that sound good? Yeah. Sounds good to me. I will probably stay in town when you guys go to the other town, because I have many things to read here. Ah, okay. Understandable. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I'll go tell Seal of that. We'll gather our things, and let's leave midday today for that new city so that we can... As long, I mean, your daggers are ready, right? Because they were, yeah, we went to the boat and back. They should so be ready, yeah. Yeah, okay. So as long as we can get our things, let's go midday today so we can cut our time mm -hmm. down. How's that sound? Sounds yep. good. Uh, I will obtain the items to also identify this uh, staff that you have given me. Ah, the I'll baguettes. Have... Yeah. Yes. Yes, please do. I'm very interested to see what that is. Actually, how long would that take? Because if you could do that before I leave, that would be fantastic. I have to purchase the item, and then I probably need the knight, so I'll have it for you when you come back to town. Okay, let's do that then. That's fine. Um, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. So uh, I'm going to go off and tell Sila that we accept. Sounds good to me. Yep. Okay, she's just sitting at the bar. Thank, uh, we will accept your mission. We'd like to hang around today to gather some things, and then we do have one errand to run to the nearby gigantic city to buy some um, some items, and then we will be on our way for your mission, if that, if that suits you. She nods and says, that's fine. Thank you. Do you want to wait here in town, or do you want to journey with us to this nearby city? I'd prefer to stick with you. Okay. Very good. All right, so I'm going to... I guess, Neil, I, I just nod, um, and then I'm going to go head off and check with the guys that were making the healing potions at my former employment. Okay. Um, so you head back there, and they have created... Ooh, wow. Uh, they've created 14 healing potions that they're willing Holy to sell you. Holy shit! Nice. Oh, they want to sell them? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they said so, because it right. costs materials to make them. <clears throat> they said for cost, though, right? Yeah, at cost. Oh, that's How good. much do you need for these, my friend? 400 GP for all 14. Done and done. Here you that's go. That's really good. That's really good. It, did you... Did you hear that? <laughs> Thought I could hear elves somewhere. Uh, well, <laughs> They shake their heads and say, no, it must be your ears. Yeah, sorry. Uh, here's the 400 gold pieces, and uh, thank you so much. Okay. So I grab the the potions, put them in my little my my knapsack, my pouch, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, I guess I'll just go wait at the tavern for everybody else. Okay. Um, with these 14 healing potions, you were just barely over the edge of encumbrance. Yeah, to I'm going to hang at out. half speed. Okay. All right. Once we're all Hanging gathered, I'm handing, I'm handing them out. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now you guys I'm, all get together. I'm going to go get back my dagger, so. Okay, so you go over to the mage. Hello, Mr. Mage. <laughs> I've come for my daggers. Are oh, you ready? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Awesome. What did they do? Um. Where did your character sheet go? They are daggers of returning. When thrown, they will return right back to your hand. Is it dangerous? Should I fear for that? No, 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 no. They're, they're supposed to come back to you. Oh, I see. So I cannot get hurt by them. They, after being thrown at a target, they will magically reappear in your hand a moment later. That sounds like a lot of fun. In addition, Thank they you. have a slight, in, 
they have a slight augmentation to their to themselves. Thank you very much, Mr. Wizard Mage. <laughs> he nods. Um, he says, uh, now, th "No, there's a matter of the the cost and material and time it, it took to to do this." Mm. You didn't. I, I don't think you before, properly compensated me for this already. How much would you need? Well, the material. Those alone are 120 gold. And then I just hand it 120 gold. So you start counting out a bunch of money, and as you start counting it out, he says, uh, and also there's the fact that it took me um, a full day of work to, to get it done. Mm. How much do you want? Well, let's, just, let's say 200 and call it even. All right. And then I hand it uh, I mean, you did, you did help save the town. On, so there you go then I give it to him thank you mister okay. so uh, just so we know are the daggers better off for me now than the bow because I'm going to be throwing them right so I'm pretty good at throwing things um the daggers are plus one daggers Mm -hmm. But uh, I can throw two per round, right? Right. And your short bow is also plus one. No, your short bow is just plus one to hit, and that's only from your ring and elf. So the daggers are better than your bow, except they do less damage. Well, they do d4 plus one instead of d6, which is actually about the same. But I throw two. the average. Yeah. Sounds like a good deal. Um, the bow does have a larger range, though. Huh. All right. A much, so much cool. larger range. But you would warn me, right, when I can choose them in terms of Yeah, range. I'll tell you when you're at medium or long range with the daggers. So medium works for daggers and long is for bow, basically. Short is for daggers. Anything other than, like, 30 yards is for bow. All right. Cool. Perfect. Or 30 feet. 30 feet or 30 yards. 30 feet makes more sense. You shouldn't be able to throw a dagger 30 yards and hit a target without a penalty. That'd be Anything pretty, that'd be a pretty than 30 sick feet throw. away, you'd want to... It would be an amazing throw. Didn't know John Elway was playing with us. That'd be <laughs> sick. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so she gets the daggers and then I assume comes back to the tavern. Mm-hmm. Is Bergor already there stroking his bear beard? Mm. I don't no know. bear Is beard he? tonight. I am stroking my beard, though. My rugged. Did you just stay there? Beard. Yeah, I, I had nothing I needed to do in okay. town. And Bannon, you went off to the wizard's shop. Uh, no, I'm I'm waiting for you guys to leave before. Are you there too? That. Okay, yeah. cool. So now that we're all gathered, um, I will. I've got these 14 healing potions. So between the four of us, I guess I give uh, each of you four. Nope, three. I, I'll give you three. I actually don't want any of them for now. Otherwise, I will enter into uh, um, my my backpack will become too heavy. All right. Are you at least carrying I... one right now, Brigger? I have a few on me, so okay, I'm okay. Cool. Abigail, here's three. Awesome, thanks. Uh, Bannon, here's three. And then I'd like you to put three of these in your magical bag of wonder. Sure. Just for safekeeping. I ask how many you have on on your person at the moment. Uh, that would be five left. I would have five left. Okay. So actually why don't you why don't you take uh, instead of three, put five in there and I'll just have three on me. Sounds good. I take the potions and put them into the, the bag. And now I'm uncumbered I would imagine. Near yes. sweet. Yes. Just berry. Okay. Alright, so uh, let me grab Sela and we'll head off to uh, the new town and Bannon you'll you'll hold the fort here and Learn us some good spells. Indeed. Or try Very to. Very good. Sela, we're ready to leave. Are you are you ready for the road? She nods. This is one of those things, Neil, where I didn't even look at the map. Is this city like within <laughs> six years of our It's back it... on the mainland? Um uh, it's you'd have to go through Windsail to get there. And then Which is faster, uh, it... that or the other one we went to? What is it called? Vale's word or some shit. What? What's the other big city where Dalamar is at? Valesburg. That's nowhere near it, dude. Okay. Look this at one's map. closer then. Look look at the map, Raw. I'm looking at this blank page on roll twenty. 
I linked the map. Why in would you do that? Skype. Because I don't, I don't do that. Look at map stuff. Come on, <laughs> I'm looking at it now. Um, if you go up and to the left, it's that uh, yellow dot next to the mountain. Oh God, what have I done? Oh, and by yellow I mean kind of tannish. There's wind sail. Yeah, to the east, east of wind sail. The site always breaks for me, Neil. <laughs> It breaks for you? Yeah, because I like try to zoom oh. in and whatnot, but it's in the direction mm. of the King's Catacombs. It is the King's Catacombs. Holy Christ! Huh. Uh, well, let's pretend I didn't say a whole lot of things, and then say, "How about we give Bannon a couple of days, <laughs> and then we all just journey there, as opposed to do this ridiculous trip there and back, just to shop, and then go back." <laughs> Yeah. Does that sound like a plan, team? I'm kind of disappointed. I wanted to buy a new bow, but sure. You still will buy a new bow. We'll we'll shop before we go into the King's Catacombs. Oh, all right. By the way, if you guys have time to kill, there is the giant ship beached out on the dock. Maybe there's something you can do with the wood, the boat, whatever. I'm sure some things could come out of that. I'll see if I can sell it to the town. Sell it to the town, maybe make... Look, I, I'm not one to for charity, but there is a lot of wood there, and we do have a lot of homeless people here in the town. Exactly, I understand. So if we, we'll we'll try something. Abigail, you're really good with money and value. Why don't uh, why don't I escort you to go try to sell that to the town? Sure. Um, Sila, change of plans. So we'll leave in a couple days, and then Bannon just do the best you can to hustle through identifying the baguette, and then learning your spells to your uh, to your happiness, and then we'll leave. Sure. I'll go uh, purchase the ingredients now. Uh, okay. Jen, I misspoke earlier about your daggers. They're actually plus three to hit, plus zero to damage. So they're much better for hitting with your bow, but they don't do as much damage. But if I crit, then it's great. Sure. <laughs> I mean, it, then it's just 2d4 instead of d6. Rare. That's better. I mean, it augments the chance of critting, right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Technically. All right, so then Abigail and Vincent set off to find the mayor. And I set off to go... Well, I guess I okay. go talk to the town's guard at the edge of town. So you guys, you guys eventually find the mayor who receives you post-haste. Mayor, how are you on this fine day? Excellent! Fantastic. Abigail, would you like to talk to him? Sure. Wait, did we go see this the ship or not at all? I am talking to Neil. I guess not. You guys did not go see the ship. You went from the bar to the mayor's house. Yeah, so I guess I don't know how much it's worth. But sure, I'll talk. All right. Maybe that, maybe that trip that you rode in on the boat. <laughs> I mean, yeah, shouldn't I know? Yeah. Since you I know much about the boat. But I can't evaluate it with my knowledge. For evaluating. No, you have like gem appraising. You don't have like giant boat appraising. I just assume yeah. she's better with knowing value than I am. So then I have no idea. I mean, I can Google both words. So like in this no, moment, you can't. no like, Google D and D. I'm like Abigail would like to talk to you, and then I, and then she sits there and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, she's uh, Eric, excuse us for a moment. Abigail, could you see to that apple juice I asked about earlier, please? <laughs> Yes, and Thank I just you. run off. Thank you so much. Now, Mayor, we wanted to talk to you. Uh, that boat that we liberated and, and drove in for you guys. Um, we're trying to fund an ex a mission, and uh, we'd like to know if you'd like to purchase it at all. He kind of looks and goes, well, I didn't think that was your boat. It is your after we, we butchered all the guys that used to own it. Well... Came out. Currently, we, we don't have a lot of money. We've had to hire some new town guards. There's a lot of repairs sure. to be done. We figured the ship would belong to the people who were crewing it, not necessarily you guys. Um, so if, if that is yours, then you need to start paying docking fees. Um, well, that, like I, here's, here, let me be honest with you, okay? If you, you name know. any kind of gold value at all that you want to give us for the boat that I do believe to be ours since we did kill... You must remember the, the tyrannical monsters that were coming to your city to murder all of you. They yes. were the owners of the boat. We killed them while on the boat, 
and by laws of the Longborn lands. It is the Iron Which Price. Which we're not in. Correct. You are you are correct. We're not in those lands. You're you are sharper than you look. I am very pleased we're talking. Um, but you know what? You know, I, I, if you just want us to give you some money for it, well, I can yeah. give you fifty gold. Accepted for a gigantic okay. boat. That's fine. It's all yours now. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Done. <laughs> all right. He digs around and hands you some money, and yeah. then you guys on your way. <laughs> Greatest boat purchase ever. <laughs> Oh, okay. As I walk out, I tap the top of the door frame. Just a little bit of a knock, just a little boop, and then I walk out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then uh, for the next day... So then I come back with the, uh, the apple juice. I'm like, so, did you sell it? <laughs> I sure did, Abigail. How much? I got Are 50 rich? gold pieces for it. Here's 10 for you. And then I just smile and I go away. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> I show it to the ferret. The ferret's happy. By the way, did it gain the ability with my level up, Neil? Yeah, I can fetch small items now. Yes. Back to fetching. <laughs> it fetches the piece of gold. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Neil, while that's happening, I, I go to the, the town guard once again. <laughs> 